welcome back welcome back to making beats making fire with cj grizz make sure to follow me on instagram cj grizz underscore follow me on social media just search in cj grizz check out cjgrizz.com uh make sure you check out create to learn on instagram also check out create to learn hashtag make sure you follow that uh so if you watched the first video uh i introduced you to logic showed you guys how to move around in logic and then the second video i showed you guys how to make uh, piano chords and uh, we used the g minor g minor chord we created this and then uh, i showed you guys how to make the 808 i showed you guys how to make a melody using the arp and we all and like i said we used a simple g minor chord and i also showed you guys a bit of layering so now uh, we're gonna get into some uh, drum making. So there's quite a few ways we can make our drum. Uh, you can use it, like I said, we can uh, load in a drum preset, empty channel. We can uh, load in a drum preset, like these drum kits. Logic has a bunch of drum kits here, electronic drum kits. Uh, like I said, you can uh, load in your own uh, drum VSTs. Uh, but my way is uh, using a drum sampler, and uh, what that sounds like is uh, the Ultra Beat right here. It's a drum sampler, so it's uh, kind of modeled off of other drum samplers where you just load in samples for like waveforms uh, that you can. And, I, I'm, and I'm a real big fan of uh, drum kits that you can just get online because there's so many they're so manipulative you can uh, do whatever you can edit them you can do so much with them and i just love loading them into like drum samplers and uh, playing them out with uh with my hands you know so this one right here is uh ultra beat and uh i loaded it in uh it's logic's own drum vst uh we're gonna load it in multi-output not stereo so we're gonna load it in multi-output and uh, you'll i'll show you why in a second Alright, so we have Ultra Beat loaded and multi. Uh, we're going to be wanting to load our uh, kits in, our drum kit, our, our drum samples. So we're going to go right here, click uh, right here where it says user default. We want to go to drum kits. We want to select drag and drop samples. So what this is, it cleans it up. All these are uh, empty, there's nothing going on here, all the effects are gone. And you can just drag and drop your samples on to any of these. So right here, it's usually standard that like all the kicks are right here. Uh, if you don't really know what's what's uh, in a drum kit, uh, you know it's cool. So right here you have your kick. That's usually the one that you kick. You got a clap, boom, clap. You also got your snare. You also got your hat. And your 808s is that big booming sound. It's like a, a whoa. That's what we were making with the. That's what we were using with the bass. But uh, you find these in uh, drum kits. So let's load up our uh, our kick. Right here. Kick two. I think I want to use kick two. I'm also gonna put this down a bit. And uh, right here, the second note where the D is. That's where we're going to put the clap. So put that one right there. Yeah, we're going to put these down because it's going to be pretty loud. So when you play them, when you play them, cool. So you can hear them when you play them. But uh, remember when I told you why we had to put it in multi output? I want both of these to have their own tracks. Kick. Yeah, I want both of these to have their own tracks. Kick and clap. I don't want them to share the same channel because you can see that they're. You can hear both of them in the same channel right here. So we have it in multi-output. If we had it in stereo, this plus sign wouldn't be here. Well, this plus sign is only there when you have it in multi, so we press it. So that's the clap. We also want to route this right here. This clap right here, we want to see where it says subgroup 1. We want to change it to subgroup 2. So now it's now it has its own. But it's still, it's still not on the playlist right here. So we want to right-click right here, create track. 
I also want to rename them right here just so that we can keep organized. Always name your stuff, guys. So cool. So now let's play it. Cool. So we made our clap and let's quantize it if you click right here. Highlights everything, press Q, quantize. Now what I did here is I put it on all this on every uh, every third beat. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two kind of like made it like stutter a bit. I just wanted it to be like that. And usually like a lot of genres, a lot of the a lot of it is like that. It's either on the three or it's on the two and the four or it's just on the three. So awesome. So now let's do our kick too. Cool. Alright, let's get into some hi hats. Hi hats are another fun part of this. So we're still keeping in with the timing, the rules we set ourselves, you know. G minor. And the drum kit, the hi hat's usually right here. And the F sharp. So let's rename this. Hi hat. Throw it down and in. Wanna turn it down. Put it on subgroup three, mixer, create our channel for it, hi-hat, and also create the track for it. So boom. Uh, let's hear it. When you're making a hi hats, you can just like draw it in. Let's make this pattern longer. Now, if that's gonna take too long, let's just select it all. Alt drag if you hold down Alt and then just drag it. Do it again. Ugh, so time consuming. So let's just select it all again. Press Command R. There, now it's all there. It's all filled in. So, what we want to do here is we want to open up the velocity because uh, uh, yeah, okay. So, what we want to do is we want to select every second one. So when you want to select it, you just hold down shift and you can select whichever note you're doing as long as you're holding down shift. And you want to just like take this note velocity down a bit so it kind of goes ta 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 ta. So. Cool. So that's one way of making your hi-hats. And this is a basic way. It's just like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so that was one way of making our hi hats. Let's say we want to make things a little bit more interesting, though. So we're going to open up our Ultra Beat again. And we also want to add some other types of hi hats just because, like, like listen to this. It's very basic. T -t 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 -t. But we also want to like maybe want to add some of that, you know, that sauce that you usually hear like, t -t 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 -t. you know, the t -t 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 all that stuff. I'm not really good at it with with my voice, so I'm really good at it with with the MIDI keyboard though. So let's do this. So right here, instead of loading it in any of these samples, we want to load it in the top one here, sample 25, and it says something about that one that. That's really special. So we're gonna write hi hat 
pitched. And I'm gonna load in this one right here, hi-hat two. So, and now we're gonna put it in subgroup four. So it's up subgroup four. So, and, but this one, you see right here where it says pitch, you're gonna wanna turn it down by one octave. So it was at C3, we wanna turn it down to C2. So it's down by one octave, C2. So we have it in subgroup four, so let's make our our uh, hi-hat track again the same way we did with all these other tracks so we go here press the plus sign change the name to hi-hat pitched right click create track so now it's right here so now if you go on your keyboard let's open up the editor and look at this close this we don't need that up right here so now you see how where it says the kick is down here if we press that one claps right here our other hi-hats right here and the other hi-hats up here the hi-hat pitched but it's you see how it's pitched but if you press the notes above it whoa whoa that's cool so that now they're pitched and that's a secret trick in Logic Pro. And you heard it from me, fellas. You heard it from me. So now let's let's try to make something. Uh, let's mute this one, just because I want to be able to hear these pitched hi hats a bit better. And we can also probably edit it, and edit the the previous hi hats. So let's let's just try something out. Let's not record anything. Just try something out first. something some interesting things that you can be doing so let's see how they sound played with this let's also pan this one to the left and then pan this one to the right so let's try adding some other elements and uh, using the ultra beat just so that we can uh, get you used to it. So right here, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a crash. Slow it in. Here, I think. Okay, we're gonna use that crash. Subgroup. I think five is in there. Yeah, five. Create it. Create a track of it. Now let's play it. Okay, quantize that. We can be adding here shake. Where am I adding? I'm adding this to here. Shake. Let's add this on subgroup six. Um, this one. Uh, perk.
So, okay, I like those. Let's have these share the same subgroup, subgroup six, so that we don't really have to create so much. Alright, so create it, put that, let's just call these perks. Create track. Now let's see. Let's see, find a place where we can put them in the beat. So now you just want to do like a lot of cool things like that when you're making your beats, you know. Just it's up to you. Make sure you uh, have your moments right. Like everything is like in place. You don't want to add too much stuff, make it muddy. See, that's why you see I'm keeping it simple. There's just like four instruments and then the drums. Then I even keep the drums simple too. Also, also keeping the, the levels a bit low, just so that uh, you, can, you can hear a little bit of clarity. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna clean this up uh, in the other video. But I think right now we have all our building blocks for the next video. Is when we arrange it and also edit the effects a bit. So make sure you keep watching. Awesome. Awesome, awesome.